That's tutor.biz and mathsdvds.co.uk. Lesson 14, part 2. In this data handling video, we're going to be looking at all sorts of bar charts, including comparative and composite bar charts. And this is our first bar chart. It's a bar chart representing the result of a survey of how people get to work. And it's one of those few times I'm going to use the word obvious, because I think in this case it is obvious. This is how many people took a car to work, this is how many people took the train to work, this is how many people walked to work, and so on. Now it's not terribly accurate, we would expect that we can see that's 10 and that's 20, that must be 15, but exactly where that is, one can't be terribly sure, but I suspect it looks like 12. The train, well if that's 25, that must be 24 went by train. And if that's one below there, that must be one above there, so that looks like 31. Bus, that's a little bit more, so that's maybe 15, 16, 17. And that's just a bit above the 5, so that's 6. In fact, it just happens to be exactly the same information as this pie chart that we did in the previous part. So those numbers are exactly the same as those numbers. And if we add those up, we'll get the 90 that in fact was in the survey. So that's a straightforward bar chart. Now the previous one was a vertical bar chart, and this is a horizontal bar chart. But similarly, I think I can use the word obvious. It's obvious what this is telling you. Number of hours of homework done a week. Dave did four hours a week. Jim did three hours a week, or in a particular week, I suppose. Tom did five hours, Pete did seven hours, and John did two hours of homework in one particular week. So I think that's pretty straightforward. Now we come to comparative bar charts. This is a comparative bar chart. And again, I'd like to say this is fairly obvious. We've got a nice colour code here. This colour is tents, and this colour is caravans. And this is what happened on Monday, and this is what happened on Tuesday. Um, it could be a little bit more. Sales. So on a Monday, two tents were sold, and four caravans were sold. On Tuesday, seven tents, and one caravan. On Wednesday, five tents, and three caravans, and so on. So this is a comparative chart of sales of tents and caravans during one particular Monday to Friday week. But again, I think fairly straightforward, but that's what a comparative bar chart is. Now this is a composite bar chart, but it's exactly the same information as the previous one. We've got sales of tents and caravans, and the bar is built on top. So you can read three things from this now. You can say two tents sold on Monday, and one, two, three, four caravans that are sold on Monday, and the height of the bar is the total sales of tents and caravans. So it's just the same information that could be read a different way. Tuesday, you've got seven tents, and one caravan, and total sales of eight. So again, I think fairly straightforward. And finishing with another composite bar chart. We've got sales of tents, caravans and motorhomes. So on Monday you can see there is a total sales altogether of the three different things of eight. But then you can read the graph two were tents and two from six gives four were caravans and six from eight gives two were motorhomes. Tuesday, total sales of eleven of those, seven were tents. Seven from eight means one was a caravan, and eight from eleven means three were motorhomes. But again, I'm going to dare to say that's fairly obvious. So let's bar charts. Lesson 14, part two, finished.